Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to bring you an update on the Equifax data breach settlement where you can get up to $20,000 if you were a victim of that data breach. Now I did do a video of that over a year ago and there's been some updates and some changes that I wanna share with you guys because the extension period has been extended for you to file your claim. And at that time, if you did not file your extension, you would have been closed out, but they have extended the time now where you guys could get in if you did not file your claim. Now, if you're new to my channel, my channel is designed to help you no matter where you are in your credit journey. And if you're tired of being denied for credit, and you want to help your friends and family with their credit, make sure you become a part of our credit community by subscribing to this channel, giving this video a thumbs up and hit your notification bell so you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. And at my website, I give you a free hard inquiry removal package because hard inquiries can get you denied for credit. I also have other packages for purchase to remove your negative items. And in 2024, we're starting our credit kickoff. This is absolutely free for you guys. We're doing it every Saturday. And we started January 6th on helping you improve your credit score by 100 points plus over a 45 day period. I go live central time at 8 p.m. so you can join me and there's no sign up just come to the channel and join the live and start to activate the information that we're sharing with you and i just released my new elite credit system which comes with my credit coaching and we do that in a private facebook group where i can help you improve your credit score and my ar software will input your credit scores and create customized dispute letters to help you remove your negative items now this one user had gotten great results that he was able to remove a collection within 12 days so if you need my help you can sign up and join and i leave all of these links in the description of this video and in the pinned comment section so let's jump into this information. Now, back in September of 2017, Equifax had a huge data breach, one of the largest of 147 million credit profiles being exposed. Now this have and can still lead a lot of people to have fraud and identity theft taking place with their credit information. Now, I'm gonna put the link to the website here in this video, and everyone needs to see if your information was exposed to this data breach, because if you have negative items right now on your credit report, you can be using this as a standing to get those off. So you need to first go and check to see if your information was exposed then do yourself a favor by taking a screenshot if your information was exposed because you can use this to send in your disputes as evidence okay that you were a part of this data breach then you can file your extension it will take you to the prompts to start to file your extension claim. Many people have questions, well, what would I put as proof? If you filed an FTC report for an identity theft affidavit, you can use that as proof. Any kind of mailings that came to you saying that your identity was exposed or they noticed a fraud activity, even if you have like credit monitoring and it shows that you have fraud activity or if you have anything like a police report, you can use that as proof to file your claim because even down the line, you might not have anything right now going on, but it can down the line 
show up and you might even suffer identity theft and the root cause was from this data breach. So make sure that you guys process your claim and check to see if you're on this list. Now, if you are a victim, keep this record. And if you are currently disputing unknown items on your credit report, you can start using this as a standing. If you sent in a number of rounds, now using this standing of disputing these items off your credit report and they don't get removed, you have this as proof to submit your complaint with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau if the bureaus will not remove that negative item. So this can be your standing for your ongoing disputes that you have if you've been exposed and you want to put yourself in a position to get up to $20,000 if you're suffering damages and you may suffer damages in the future. So if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to drop it in the comment section. Or if you have more personal questions from me, you can go to my website and all your questions go directly to my cell phone. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.